have been hyping all week long. We are going to be talking right now live to one of the integral members of one of the funk top groups in this business. Parliament Funkadelic, he's worked with geniuses such as Bernie Warrell, George Clinton, Eddie Hazel, and also Mr. Bootsy Collins. He's currently the music director for P-Funk All-Stars, and he is currently working on a solo CD. And I heard a track on mp3.com, and I'm telling you folks, it's funky. I'm looking forward to hearing all about this project and what Gary is up to. We are pleased to be talking live right now to Gary Scheider, who is uh, one of the top musicians in this business. Gary, how you doing this afternoon? Oh, man, I'm doing good. And I want to thank you for taking time out of your real busy schedule for coming to the Upper Room. I know a lot of P-Funk fans are out there tuning in on the Internet. And what's going on? Well, I'm, right now I'm just sitting back relaxing, man. Yeah? Sitting up in these woods. In the mountains, then. <laughs> so you encountered a lot of snow on this uh, recent trip oh, you just took, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, it was 75 the day I got here. Then it rained that night, and the next morning it was about three inches of snow. So you bring a guitar with you? Or you just yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we were talking. Um, you have a new track, which is on MP3.com, and, and it's smoking. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I figured I'd try to do. Something a little different, you know, right. along with the family and a couple of friends, you know what I'm saying? You you got a lot of, uh, you got stuff in your bag more than that track? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I got a whole bunch of stuff, man. Yeah? Funk is like a bank. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you're you definitely... You make your deposit and then one day you might have to go get a, make a withdrawal. <laughs> you know, so I'm making withdrawals right now. That's right, and you can, uh, folks, we're going to give you the information on how to uh, listen to the track from Gary, uh, also known as Diaper Man, Doo-Wop Shider, and Gary, uh, you, you listen to this track, and you could tell how much of an influence you've been on the uh, Parliament Funkadelic P-Funk All-Star sound. Uh, let's go back to uh, way, way back, if, uh, if you may. You got time for that? Uh, <laughs> yeah. How we're, far back in yeah. my mind you need me to go? We're, we're going to uh, Plainfield, New Jersey, in the days where you uh, met the atomic dog, Mr. George Clinton. Mm -hmm. And uh, how old were you when you first uh, caught up with George in Plainfield, New Jersey? Oh, dang, it had to be about seven or eight. Seven or eight, right? Yeah. And we had Bernie Worrell in the studio uh, last October talking about getting his hair done by George Clinton mm -hmm. at George's Barbershop. Yeah, on Plainfield Avenue. Plainfield Avenue. Right. So uh, a lot of great times, memories from that, that shop. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, that was... Look, call that my growing years. Right. You know. So you're seven or eight. Pardon? How, how did you know when you were seven or eight years old that uh, you wanted to get into this this music thing? Well, see, my whole family is into music. Right. You know, so from day one, uh -huh. I was, uh, you know, blessed with that. From ever since I can remember, man, we was always in the church or something like that. But you were as a family. But you were sneaking out of church out here. Oh, uh, yeah, that was actually out of missionary service. Uh-huh. You know. And, uh, you know, you come from a family, you guys were all playing the guitar. Who, When you were growing up, who'd you look up to when your family is being being the top dog playing on the guitar? Uh, My father. Uh-huh. Now, what kind of uh, music was he playing? Uh, he was playing gospel. He was playing blues. All right. A down-home blues. You know, that gut bucket stuff, like y'all don't know nothing about that. Right. Oh no, we we dig up some of those those CDs. They're they're reissuing those things a lot. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm talking about Lead Belly and all that. Oh, okay. I'm talking about way back. You know, some of the new fans they wouldn't know nothing about that. We we got to school them on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, running with George and and uh, you know he was getting this thing together. You also had the Parliaments there, the original Parliaments, right? Right. And well, see, it was Parliaments before it was Funkadelic. Okay. Right, and they were singing uh, a lot of the R&B doo-wop stuff, right? Yeah. Your thing, being the vocalist, uh, one of the top vocalists in the group, you learn a lot from the, uh, the original parliaments? Of course. Yeah? Of course. I mean, funk is never-ending learning. Right. You, know? you always learn something. You wake up the next day, you, you're going to find something that you can learn. And now we're moving on to... Uh, 
when George and all you got together? And how, how did it start when you knew you were going to be a part of this thing with George and, and Bernie? Oh, dang, that would have been up in Canada. What part of Canada? Toronto. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Boogie and myself, we were in a, I guess you would call it a, a, let me see, what you call it? A club band. Okay. You know, like doing hotels and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Actually, when, he, when George did call the Corona, we was on our way to Vegas. Right. Boogie and myself. Okay. You know, so we had to make a choice. But before then, we got sent to Canada by George because he was producing a group that we had in Plainfield, New Jersey, called U.S., which consists of uh, Boogie's brother, uh, Larry Mawson, Harvey McGee, uh, Ben Edwards, Roosevelt Edwards, and uh, Reggie Turner. Okay. Mm -hmm. So who kept track of uh, all these projects? Not George, right? Yeah. All right. So, uh, you know, you guys went, went together. And I, Bernie was also talking about the, the studio days in Michigan and uh, so many things going on, right? Yes. At that house, right? Uh, yes. Right. At, uh, he was talking about Pack 3 then. Right, right. Yeah, he said, you know, you guys were just making music and having fun and things just took off from there, right? Exactly. Exactly. Then, like, but that, when I kind of came in the picture, I remember Pac-3 because I used that a lot. With okay. With the first family. Mm-hmm. But that, Pac-3 was one of the ones that started the earlier Motown stuff. All right. You know. In fact, uh, Richard Brecker, Brecker, he was the one that built the uh, systems for Motown. Oh, okay. You know, the recording equipment. And you, you guys just have, from those days, just released so many great tracks and live performances and all that we we could spend hours talking about it but uh you guys with the mothership i'm going to move on to the current day you guys convened over at uh woodstock right yes now uh a lot of different fans out there than you know from way back do you see any differences in the crowd and or is it just the same vibe well no it's different it's it's, it's kind of different now you and, and then then it repeats itself the difference that I see in the crowd now with the mothership, the audience is predominantly white. Right. It mixed, you know. Where'd all the brothers and sisters go? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Yeah. We, we got to bring they, them back. They're probably, they're probably waiting to, to, to uh, pull up the rear. Right, right. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't think that there's a lot of P-Funk fans out there. And, you know, they, they haven't left. They've just been a little uh, put to the side. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have Musically. now, man. What's that? that, that, that those P-Funk fans have kids and grandmothers and stuff. Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? So they, their kids is getting it through like the rappers. Right, you right. Know? So the parents get the opportunity to, opportunity to explain to them, oh, well, that was out before. That was out before. The same way like when we were growing up. Right. Like the clothes and stuff that we were wearing. I remember hearing my parents and them talking about they had them. Right. <laughs> you know, like yeah. the knickers, the bells. Look at the baggy pants now. Oh, yeah, sure. You know, all the, the big outfits. You still... The little rascals and them were wearing. Right. So, uh, you know, folks out there who uh, have seen Parliament Funkadelic Live, the P-Funk All-Stars, they know about the diaper, right? <laughs> now, where where did that originate from? Oh, I told my parents one time. What's I, that? I, I was wearing clothes. <laughs> And then one day I tore my pants and I didn't have nothing to put on, so I wrapped a towel around me. Right, so you've been going uh, strong right. with that ever since, right? Right, I decided I wasn't going to grow up after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get into one of the uh, tracks which you you wrote and performed. This is from uh, George Clinton Presents Our Gang Funky, right? Uh-huh. And your wife's on there too, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so what's the uh, origin of this album? Uh, which one is this, Our Gang Funky? Yeah, Our Gang Funky. Well, wait, wait a minute. Explain to me what you're asking me. No, I was saying, uh, what, what made George put this record together? You know, you got some folks which, uh, you know, microwave and... Oh, uh, well, at that time we were cutting, we were on MCA. Okay. Bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. We were on MCA. Can you hear my, my fan in the background? Yeah, you, you're, <laughs> you're real polite. Yes, that's my wife. Yeah, okay. Say hi to her. Um, they said hello, Linda. But she said hi <laughs> between her sneezes. Right. Uh, that was we was on MCA and we, at that time we were cutting uh, Funkadelic, 
we were supposed to cut two groups. So, uh, well, the, the, our game Funky was going to be different groups, trying to launch off different groups. You had, uh, let me see who else was on there. Uh, what's his name? Stefan. Right. Stefan was on there. Maxi Muff. Who? Maxi Muff. Yeah. And, Cadillac uh, Heights, Baby Fat. Right. Yeah. That was uh, Joe Pep out of the Undisputed Truth. Right. That's his daughter. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm cheating. I got the record label right here. So, right. Yeah, but... <laughs> Who else we had on it? Uh, Jessica Cleves. Right. OTW. Mm-hmm. You got you got a whole cast. Bootsy's on there. Right. Blackbird and... Right. You got some serious players on there. Oh, man. Uh, let me see. Did Sly play on that? No, Sly didn't play on that. No. Amp Fiddler? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Ber- Bernie must have been out touring with somebody else. Who? Bernie must have been playing with somebody else during that time. I, I guess. think that time he might have been with a uh, talking here. Right, right. Like that. But uh, we're going to play the track that uh, you you sang on there, right there, uh, called "Beautiful," and we'll come back and talk about uh, the new uh, P Funk All Star project, which uh, folks want to hear. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, actually, actually, let me see. Beautiful, beautiful. That was my wife wrote that. Actually. Right. Her, Bootsy's on there too. Her George and Microwave. Uh huh. And Bootsy, I believe too. Cause Bootsy, I think the track came from Bootsy and Microwave. Right. And uh, you, of course, you're singing and playing guitar on it, right? Right. So this is Gary Scheider. Gary, as you were known as a doo wop Scheider there. And Gary's got a, a new solo CD, which he's hard at work on. Of course, he is the band leader of the current configuration of. He funk all stars, and he is also a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Parliament Funkadelic. We'll come back and talk with Gary in just a few moments. This is the Upper Room. That's from Gary Scheider. Funky. It's called Beautiful from George Clinton presents our game Funky. Right here, Joe Kelly in the Upper Room, and I want to thank Mr. Gary Scheider, one of the top guitarists in the land, and he is the current musical director to Parliament Funk. All stars, P Funk All Stars, and what's it like uh, being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? That's quite an honor, isn't it? Oh man, that's the greatest honor you can get. Yeah, that's right. And that was uh, how long ago was that exactly? You know what? That, that's a good question. When uh-huh. did you get inducted? Two years ago. Two years ago, and, and a lot of a lot of the members showed up, right? Uh, everybody showed up. Everybody, everybody showed up. Still living, except for Tal Ross. We couldn't find him. I don't think. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the legacy, you guys got a living legacy, but, you know, people are never going to forget oh. Parliament Funkadelic and you and Bernie and George and Bootsy. And right now you've uh, been taking on your own solo project, right? Yes. You, you're working with some top people. Jerome Braley's on it, right? Yes. Yeah. And, I, of course, you're playing what? Get Almost up. everything but the kitchen sink, right? <laughs> <laughs> Try to. Really. Yeah. So yeah. How, how's it going? Um you're talking any time frame. I know, I know musicians hate hearing that, right? Well, see, if you know that, you won't ask that. Okay. <laughs> That's mistake number <laughs> one, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. But what, what what are you looking for different from uh, your group projects with, with this solo thing? Well, right, I'm just trying to see how many different elements of music can be mixed together. That's what that contest is about. Okay. And that's right. Uh, real... We're talking about an innovative get, reaching out to the fans contest. Right. If, they, if they can feel something, just send it in. Right, you know, some lyrics or something. Send it in, and yeah, Gary's look. We can use it. If it don't, then you know we won't use it. So you, you fans out there who got funk in your veins and looking to write write some lyrics to to uh, a funky track by Gary Shotter, you can uh, go to the website wfnk.com and submit your lyrics and. Uh, They'll see if it'll work in a song, and and what the the person or person's lyrics who you select is going to be able to go on stage with you at, at a concert, right? Right. So you you're doing something real nice for the fans. I got to tell you that. Oh man. Well, see, everybody, I, I feel like this. Everybody out there, that's a fan, got some kind of funk in them, man. That's right. You know, everybody got some kind of talent. That's right, and and your uh, fans are definitely appreciative of it. I got to ask you. Um, you know, besides your own music that you're working on, who who are you listen to today? You got anybody? You got your CD player? Listen to? Uh, that's a good question. Let's see who I like. I like the Chili's. Okay. 
I like uh, see, Snoop. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, what's that? Them girls, Destiny Child. Yeah, Destiny's Child. Yeah, TLC Prince. Uh, yeah, going going back to that that fellow. How was the uh, the show up at Paisley Park? Oh, that was great, man. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Larry was there. Larry Graham. Right. Uh, Mavis Staples. Uh, it was actually a, a party. Yeah. You know that he threw. And I heard it was part. I heard it was pretty wild. Some some folks jumping up on stage. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah we definitely need to see uh, the footage from that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hear that the show was real nice and everything. It, it was. Yeah. It was great, man. So as far as uh, recording up there, you guys do any tracks? Yes. Well, we've done. We did. Uh, which, which album was that? Uh, hey man, smell my finger. Smell my finger. We right. did that up there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And. Uh, the, the uh, Cinderella theory. Well, Cinderella theory was done in the yeah. story, basically. Well, so but, speaking of uh, recording, is there any difference between the way you guys work on a uh, George Clinton project, Power and Funkadelic, as working with the artists? Is it different recording? Same vibe. It's 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 um, everybody got their different ways of recording. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, if we used to Funkadelic, we used to go in there and record all at one time. We haven't right. done that in a while. Mm -hmm. You know, in fact, I think we're getting ready to go back to that. Okay. You know, that way you get a live feel. Right. What What I found out there was they do a lot of sampling. Okay. Looping and all that stuff. You know, which we do that now, but not as much I believe as other groups do it. Right. So you know, you got. You got a much talked about project with Funkadelic, a new album. Um, you're saying it's a little ways off, right? Right. Any title to it or still in the works? No, I can't reveal that, man. Okay. <laughs> I, can't I won't push you on that. No, no. no. Yeah. So, uh, that, see, that's got to be the element of surprise. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. And, uh, and that's what uh, you guys have always been uh, definite masters in surprise <laughs> and, and great music. And, man, what a trip. I got, you know, uh, you know, this solo project, George is definitely behind it, right? I mean, yeah. he's supportive of you. Yes, yeah. yeah. The fact that I'm working on one now that uh, it's called Crazy About You. Uh-huh. That uh, he put his voice on over in Japan for me. Okay. You know, and uh, another friend of mine had the track in L.A. So I did the track in L.A. and I'm doing the backgrounds at home. And, of course, you, you'll be able to hear, you're going to put more tracks up on mp3.com? Right. Right. I'm going to put that one on it. Oh, okay. what I'm talking about. Yeah, and uh, the current track you have up there, what's, what's the title of that one? Oh, wait a minute. What's the title of the track that's up there now? Oh, Duke oh, Duwai. And it, it's real nice, I'm telling you. Nice vocals, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank and, you, thank uh, you. People, all you have to do, it's very easy. Go to www.mp3.com, type in on the search, Gary Scheider, and, and voila, you got it. And then you're on. And you're on. And you. And don't forget the contest now. Oh, yeah. You know, for we got, the, that's the the instrumental stuff. For the instrumental stuff, Gary is looking for some great lyricists who got funk. WFNK.com. You don't have to type www. That's a real nice website and supportive of the funk. Gary, I tell you, it's been a real pleasure talking with you and uh, get back to resting up because I know you're going to be touring this summer, right? Oh, yeah, man. Like I said, we go back out on the 27th of April. Okay. Where, where, I mean, are you playing, where, where are you playing the next time? I don't have the slightest idea. Some, I heard something about uh, Myrtle Beach. Okay. Uh, and that's in South Carolina, so I'm figuring we'll do the South and probably the East Coast probably come up your way. Oh, okay, yeah. Man. And you definitely have to keep in contact once you come up here, and uh, you're welcome. Open invitation to stop by the studios here. I'll hold you to that. All right, because okay. uh, we got an in-house concert series here. You can bring that guitar and just go to town. I'll definitely do that. That's right. B Bernie was up here with a couple keyboards. He he's a real great I'll guy. Yep. Well, we're going to play one of the tracks in which you are co-writer and instrumental player on. This is George Clinton's Atomic Dog. Yeah, okay. And you know we're going to be supporting uh, that solo project, Gary. Oh, man, I'll be glad to have that support. That's right. All right. And I want to thank you for taking time out of your vacation. All right. And uh, get back to relaxing. 
Okay, Joe. Okay. All Thanks, right. Gary. This is The Upper Room with Joe Kelly on 88.5.